In this episode of my macaron tutorials, I'm going to show you how to pipe these macarons. So we've just finished the macaronage stage and we're going to, like I uh, pointed out earlier, I've just got a jug here and I just put my piping bag in there just so that it holds it up for me while I pour this batter in. Now we don't want to pour all the batter in at once, just pour maybe half in or maybe less and pipe and then you can always just come back to the rest. That bag up. Now you just want to hold it like this so the nozzle is facing up and you kind of just want to twist it until you can see that the mixture is just coming out of the tip. Now before we pipe these, I'll just show you a little tip. If we just put a little bit of batter underneath the baking paper, it helps it stick. And that way when you're putting it in your oven and if you have a fan forced oven, the paper doesn't fly around everywhere and force the macarons to kind of lose their round shape. So now that's down, we can start piping our macarons. When you're piping your macarons, you want to make sure that there's no peak. You want to have the surface to be really nice and smooth on top. So the best way to do that is to kind of pipe from the side. So we just want a little circle. And you can see there's a little peak there, but that'll disappear. You want to make sure that these are all roughly the same size and keep in mind that they will actually spread so you don't want to make them too big. Now once you've finished piping your tray of macarons, what you want to do is you want to grab it and kind of gently tap it down on the bench as evenly as you can because what this does is brings the air bubbles to the top and make sure that there's no air bubbles in the actual macaron and it also helps flatten them as well. At this stage, what you want to do is you want to let the macarons dry out in the open so that they form kind of a shell. And when you touch the top of the macaron, it shouldn't be sticky at all, so you shouldn't get any of the batter on your finger. And that's when you know it's ready to put in the oven. So we're going to let these dry for about 30 minutes minimum, and then we're going to put them in the oven. Okay, so our macarons have been drying for 30 minutes and they've formed a shell. So we're going to pop them in the oven on 180 degrees, 12 minutes and then we're going to take them out and you'll notice that they'll actually rise and you're actually looking for them to form like a foot at the bottom. 